Astronomers have just observed a gamma ray burst, or GRB, coming from the collision of two neutron stars. Typically, the merger of neutron stars brings to life a new black hole. When neutron stars collide, they generate ripples in spacetime known as gravitational waves and collapse into a black hole almost instantaneously under their own gravity. But this time, scientists witnessed something different. When the neutron stars crashed into each other in a kilonova fashion, instead of a black hole, they created a bigger neutron star, a proto-magnetar, more specifically, that powered a hot nebula rapidly expanding from the merger source. These super-dense stars are about the size of Manhattan, but are as massive as our sun. The kilonova produced a short gamma-ray burst, which taught us that GRBs don't always come from the birth of a black hole. The source of the GRB is called GRB 180618A and is located in the outskirts of a galaxy about 5 billion light-years away from Earth. When scientists observed the short-duration GRB, they immediately noticed rapid bursts of other emissions that faded out pretty fast. GRBs are the most energetic forms of light that typically last anywhere from a few milliseconds to several minutes. These bursts shine hundreds of times brighter than a normal supernova and about a million trillion times as bright as our sun. The latest discovery may help us devise new ways to find neutron star mergers and gravitational wave emitters. The power source that gives a GRB its super-powerful energy has been a matter of debate among scientists that are split between two theories. The first theory suggests that when the neutron stars merge, they form a massive neutron star that immediately collapses into a black hole in a fraction of a second. The other theory says the merger of neutron stars would bring us a less heavy neutron star that lives longer. One possible scenario is that the leftover magnetar was spinning so fast and with such immense magnetic fields that its collapse was delayed. More surprising was the length of the afterglow. After a short GRB, an optical light afterglow follows. Such afterglows usually take days or weeks to fade away. But in the latest observation, scientists witnessed an afterglow that lasted only 35 minutes before disappearing. That's surprisingly fast. When the team analyzed the data further, they found the material producing the afterglow was expanding at nearly the speed of light and cooling down. After analyzing the data, astronomers found that the leftover magnetar was pushing the material from behind. For this observation, scientists used NASA's orbiting Neil Garrell Swift Observatory, which detected the initial GRB. The study could also give us a new perspective into the interior structure of neutron stars, which scientists assume have a core of exotic matter. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.